two week span between um, you know, A&M a and, and Texas State. Just, it's kind of an oddity at this time of the year. How do you feel about only playing one game in, in a two-week span? How does that impact you guys? Uh, I feel like it gives us a chance, you know, to uh, just to recoup, regather. You know, we're still working on some things, you know, because each and every day we, we're learning. So that, that gives us time to work on things that we need to work on and get better for the, you know, for the next game. It just like you said, it just gives us time to rest physically and mentally, get prepared for the next game. Uh, over these long periods of break, we get a lot of practice in, so we can work on a lot of the things that we need to work on, so we know how to come out and get the win. Just kind of what was it like yesterday coming back to practice after those couple of days off, and and kind of how hard, how much did they run you and everything like that, uh, trying to run the holidays out of all of you. Oh, they they made sure to get that Thanksgiving dinner out of us. They they made sure to get that out. But I mean, after that, we, it was just a normal practice. You know, we got after each other, making sure that we were getting ourselves prepared for our game tomorrow. So he he did what he had to do to get us ready. Yeah, uh, kind of piggyback off what he said. You know, like even though it was kind of hard, you know, getting getting those days off out of us. You know, getting that, that food out of us. But uh, we got we just pushed each other. You know, kids. If you're tired, you just gotta push each other. So we just was pushing each other all each practice, every, or like uh, the whole practice, and we just kind of got, got through it. And once we got over that hump and got our second win, it was a whole lot better. I guess Andrew, obviously, the last few games haven't gone the way you'd like them. Did this break help you at all? Just getting away from it? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, you know, find me. You know, I had to, you know, I was trying to do other things, but yeah, I had to find me. So yeah, I it is needed. It's just needed. What kind of growth you've seen from Daniel, I guess, this calendar year from, I guess, going through the SEC the first time, deciding to come back, and, and what you've seen from him this year? Oh, yeah. See, from uh, his freshman year, like, he didn't know, like, what to expect, but he kind of knew from how we played and how we played with him uh, in practice. So by him being, like, having that dead year up on his belt, him knowing, like, what the SEC brings and how they play, is, you, know, you know, the style of play of SEC basketball, he kind of knows, like, what he has to do and how he has to, you know, uh, I guess, approach the game. So by him, you know, having that year under, under his belt, he knows what he has to do and what he has to do to bring, or like to, what he has to bring to the table now. I guess for both, did you guys do two a day? Did you go, did you go yeah. twice? Yeah. How was that? Did you feel rusty the first practice? And just how did the practices go, would you say? Uh, the first practice, yeah, it, it, everyone was definitely rusty. You know, uh, you know, they, being home with their family, you know, having, having a Christmas over there. but. You know, when we came back and got after it, uh, the second second practice, it was a whole lot better. We kind of knew uh, what we were doing. You know, kind of kind of cope well with each other. Kind of kind of got all all that out the way. So the second practice was a whole lot better. Yeah, same thing. I mean, we came in probably a little rusty. Like I said, we had that Thanksgiving dinner on our, on our bellies, but you no, know, we came back second practice. We picked up the tempo, you know, and we started playing our brand of basketball. Andrew, you obviously haven't been shooting well these last few games. You were shooting well before that. What do you think's changed, and what do you got to do to get back to? Uh, uh, no, uh, I just got to build that confidence back up to you know to actually shoot it. I haven't been shooting it as much now, but I just have to build my confidence back up. You know, my t my teammates trust me well enough to shoot. I just haven't been shooting it. Uh, just, I don't know why I haven't. I just just have been just haven't been shooting it. Concerned, or do you feel like that's just sort of a little slump? Or no, nah, I don't feel like it's a slump. I, I me, I don't, I don't look at it as, as, as I just like it's growth because I, I depend too much on my jump shot when I'm actually athletic enough to get to the rim and can dribble enough to get to the rim. So I can, so I can. I'm, I'm really just trying to be away from it and actually use my athleticism and get to the rim. After the loss to Western Kentucky and some pretty close games with with San Antonio and Texas State, does it make it easier to get up for a team like Austin Pay where you? You know, don't take them lightly. Oh, we know that we can't. We can't take anybody for granted. Uh, you can lose any day, so we have to have that mindset. We have to play with a chip on our shoulder, so we don't lose those close games, and so we can stretch it out. Yeah, uh, kind of like what he said. Uh, you know, we we don't take any team for granted. You know, any any team can come in at, at any day and just our players. But we, our focus is don't let no one our players. You know, just play Razorback basketball, the basketball that we know. And just you know, defend the home court. Yeah, I know it's hard to compare scores, but Austin Peay's won, won six in a row, and they won at Troy, and Troy won at West Kentucky, and obviously West Kentucky won here. Does that kind of get your attention when you see they won at Troy and they won six in a row? Ah, uh, no, no, that all that don't phase me. I, maybe it's phase other people. That I don't, I don't look at it like that. I just feel like we just 
can't let them outplay us. We got to outwork them, outplay them, and just we got to want it more than them. Does that kind of, I mean, not that you guys aren't confident against them, but does that kind of give you an amount of respect for what they've done so far? I mean, we respect all teams, yeah. but we're not going to let that affect how we play, them beating Troy, who beat Western Kentucky, because, like I said, anybody can be beaten in this game, and so we just got to come out and play our brand of basketball and trust our system. Yeah. How'd you guys find the uh, the deal over at the the center? You know, helping the kids with the shoes and all that. What 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 would that mean to you guys? How how'd you like that? Uh, I feel like that's uh, a life changing experience. You know, for you know for some of those kids, you know, because some some of the kids had the same shoes on from last year when when I did it with the last thing. Some of those kids still had those same shoes on. For so for for this, you know, for this experience me for this being my third time, that's actually a life changing experience for, for me because you know I. I, w I used to be one of those kids who didn't have shoes and stuff like that. So for me to actually give them a pair of shoes, it actually meant a lot to me. I guess that was the first time you did it as a freshman. What, how did it affect you? Well, it was a great experience, you know, just being able to give back to the community in any way that you can. Uh, some kids may not be as fortunate as others. So just giving them that gift, seeing the smiles on their faces, put a smile on all of our faces, made, made us feel like we were really, really doing something. And so uh, just having them walk out with new pair of shoes on their feet, smiling with their families, uh, it's just a great feeling. For, for both of you guys, the offensive numbers have been down the last several games from where they were uh, when you guys had that original winning streak. Just the, the zone defenses have given you problems. What, do you kinda, what have you guys worked on to maybe try to counter that when you see it again? Uh, we, we worked on zone offenses. You know, we worked on, on multiple things throughout the, you know, uh, yesterday and uh, just really from the last game we've been watching film, breaking our film and just working on things that we could fix because all those things that, that we're doing is are in games are, are fixable, you know. So that's what we do. We come in, work on it, and we just try to learn from what we're doing wrong and fix those things. So that way the next game we do it, we know what to do and how to execute. Yeah. Uh, so like, yeah, we just, we work, like you said, we work on our zone offense. But one thing we, we work on is pushing the tempo. We let the team slow us down too many times. And we got to we gotta play at the fastest 40 tempo. So once we, once we get that down and consistently play at our pace, we, we should be good. Yeah, the, you, you went one for six the other day, but, but the three you hit was pretty big mm -hmm. in the stretch. And you had uh, three steals, I think three assists didn't turn over. So, you, you know, even though you didn't have your normal shooting game, you helped in other ways. For, for you know, sometimes the guys that are shooters, they're on a bad night, their whole game just, mm -hmm. you know, <coughs> kind of falls apart. Well, mm -hmm. what do you do to help in other areas like you did? Well, like Coach says, we predicate our game. We predicate our game on our defense first, and offense will come. But unfortunately, I had a bad offense tonight. But you know, there's still other aspects of the game that can help, like defensive rebounds, taking charges, all the little things. Scoring isn't the main part of the game, and like they say, games are won by defense. Hey, you naughty, what do you think of what Isaiah did? Yeah, cause uh, I'm. Yeah, cause Coach tells that every day. You know, like. If, if you're not having an offensive game, defense, you that don't come and go. That's our effort and heart. You know, you got to want to win. You got to want to play defense. You got to want to get stops. So defense, you, you know, your offense, like he's like he's went one for six. You know, that's, his shot just wasn't there. But he can he contrib contribute to the game doing defensive things, getting defense rebounds, taking charge. You know, just the little things to help us win. One more question, um, Isaiah. You're, you're a freshman, Adriel. This might be different for you, but Mike Anderson was sitting there for the game the other day. For young guys, you know, their bodies probably need a break because this is all new to them. I mean, what, what, what did a break mean to you and Adriel? What do you think it meant, meant for the younger guys? Well, I mean, a break just like I said earlier, just so you can get some mental and physical rest, so your bodies can recuperate. But I mean. I've been playing basketball my whole life. Even through like high school, we got those little breaks. It always meant like just keep, keep letting your body get back up to where it needs to be, but still staying in the gym, getting up your shots, doing uh, all the little things, all the other things, but try not to wear yourself out. And then you just come back to the university and be ready to practice, be ready to put in work. Yeah, I feel like this this break was very well needed for the freshmen because like uh, the first like the practice when we got back, they were jumping out the gym <laughs> like. <laughs> I feel like they needed this break because, like, I guess they just needed, like, like, like you said, need their bodies to rest and recoup and ready to get back. Because, like, you know, we finna we got a few games ahead of us, then we finna head on to the SEC. So I feel like that break was very well needed, and uh, just I feel like it was well needed, and they needed their bodies to recoup. So now that like, we got that back on track, it's just time to, you know, focus on the next game.